Live from Don't Ever Bank Here Field in Cracks and Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Cracks and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho ho! Va 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 boom! And it's first and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down in a lot. Third down, and the punter is warming up. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. This is going to be a... And the defense goes for the jugular and run. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. <laughs> Hold everything. The offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And they'll line up for the punt here. Apparently the punt up of the day is being played by my kid's sister. And she doesn't have... They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, 
when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> One, hot two, hot, hot eight. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half. And that is called for a first down. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. <laughs> And this is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Second down and two. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. <laughs> oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. <laughs> This guy's on fire! Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. He scores! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. I just made the commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You should. Second down and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. 
Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Hot. 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 And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Yo, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Third down and ten. Up maybe four on that play. <laughs> and out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a... Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Pow! With the brain scrambler. First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And he gets three yards on that run. And it's first and ten. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I'm a And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat.
And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He picks up the first down. First down and one. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. First down and one. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? And that'll bring up second and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin grafted on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Call a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. Oh, that's when small talk is really put to the test. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one. Hot. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's for... They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Wow, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> he was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the only they're not as little as you think. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And like a monkey trying to... He runs it for three. <laughs> Second down and seven. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and long. And the quarterback throws a murder ball which will slice its way through any defense, and he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're gonna lose. Not like they need any help with that program. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Hopefully the next guy learns, or we're going to have a pile of dead refs. Third 
third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. Nicely done. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot two, hot three. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and they run it for a couple of yards. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. Seven yards on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. finds its target a pickup of six yards on the play and that'll be second down and four that's the end of the third quarter this game is going to come down to the wire I love that show and that'll be second down and four a run for no gain. Third and four. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Man, the 
position. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. The defense calls it a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Griff, but it keeps coming back to him. Second down in a line. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the cube. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, they ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? Second down and two. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. down and nine. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pill. That's a ginormous dirty trick. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Morning, Sam's. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. Third down and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim. 
Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episodic. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's man, what a hit that was. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling that... Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of script. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in thought. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. <laughs> Find the way a rolled up down the bill stick. And the cracks of Skull Jugulars go down in defeat today. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Grim Blitrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not.